Okay, today we'll be learning how to get the extra doses out of an EpiPen. The first thing we'll do is need to give the EpiPen to the patient. This is how you on it. And this will be our patient. And you'll see that when you push the EpiPen against the patient's leg, very quickly the dose comes out. And the EpiPen closes, so now you can't use it anymore. So now your patient got their first dose. We need to give them a second dose because they're in anaphylactic shock and you need more epi when you're out in the wilderness. So take your pocket knife, preferably a folding knife with a lock and take off the plastic outer covering. Here you can see there's a natural separation between the two firing mechanisms of the pen. Gently and carefully, you're going to take your knife and cut right between these two sections. If you use a rocking motion, it's probably easier to cut the plastic. You're going to be careful not to let it shoot out because there's a spring in there that's going to take off when you open it up. So you're going to work your way around the EpiPen to the other side. Cut through all the way around. Just like that. When you pull the spring off, there's the carpule, and you can see that there's a lot of epi left inside it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the sheath covering the needle, and there it is. You'll notice there's also a stop on the back of the needle. What we'll do is we'll pull the plunger out to get a little air in there while it's pointing up. And then you can point it down to give your next dose of epi. Let's get our patient back and we'll give another dose of epi. Turn it upright again, suck in more air, turn it back to the patient and you can give another dose of epi. That's three, take it back. That's four. And finally again, that's five. There are five extra, five full doses of epi in one single epi pen. That's pretty amazing.